Today I'm going to talk about a new rifle from Air Arms. Air Arms has turned out some of my favorite rifles over the years. The S410, the 510, um, the uh, takedown rifle, which is based on the, the 410 action. And if you want to get into Springer's, the TX200. Just a, a long history of some really fine guns. Most of their guns have been more traditional, aimed towards the hunting market and the field target market. Um, but it was only a matter of time before they got into um, into the bullpup world. I, everybody's moving that way. You got to have one to compete. And I'm actually becoming a fan. I you know I still like the traditional looks of a sporter better, but you can't argue with with how these guns handle in the field and um, their their viability is a is a choice for a hunting gun. When done right, a bullpup it can be a, a really solid performing hunting platform. They're compact, they're lightweight, they're easy to move around with, and because of the configuration utilizing a full-length rifle barrel and a full-length reservoir, you don't really give up on shot counter accuracy when you go to a bullpup either. So you end up getting the advantages of a uh, carbine in terms of shortening the overall length of the gun, but in terms of the, uh, the performance, you still have a full-size rifle. So it's a matter of configuration, not a change in the barrel like a, a carbine. I chose 10 of my favorite features with this rifle to talk about and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them before I get out in the field to go hunting with a gun. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the first thing is the overall size. The, the, the rifle, as I said, and this is the rifle version, there's both a rifle and a carbine version, carbine with a shorter uh, barrel, obviously. Uh, but the, the rifle version, it's, it's very compact, uh, light, fairly lightweight. Um, the gun is very accurate. I mean, at 50 yards, it does half-inch groups all day long. And if it's not too windy, I feel pretty good going out past, way past that with this, this gun. I'll go out to, uh, to 100 yards with it. Um, so we'll see what, uh, what we get when we get out in the, uh, the field. But uh, anywhere from 50 to 100 yards, depending on wind conditions, uh, is, uh, is, I think, completely viable with this rifle. Uh, it's powerful. It's putting out about 28 foot-pound of energy. So it's not, it's not exceedingly powerful, but in terms of what you want for a small game gun, where it's all about shot placement anyway, um, that, that I think is plenty of power. It gives you enough oomph to reach out there to those greater distances that I, I, I mentioned a moment ago. Um, the gun is very fast to cycle. It's got a really unique cocking lever. You can push down pull it back up, this, this side lever uh, action, different than any other side lever, instead of coming out and in, it goes down and up, but uh, it's, it's very fast to cycle. And every time you cycle it, uh, it auto-indexes a 10-shot magazine, which is based on the standard Air Arms magazine, which is a proven design. Very robust, very reliable. Um, I've, I've used this now for hundreds, if not thousands, of shots in this gun. I've shot probably five or six tens of, of pellets through it. Um, I haven't had any misfeeds, any jams, so it's, it's really performing solidly. There's an integrated um, suppressor, uh, moderator in, in the gun that uh, quiets it down quite a bit. This is a, a very quiet gun, especially for the, uh, for the power that it's putting out. So um, I, uh, I really uh, like that, uh, that design. It doesn't add too much on to the, to the overall length, a few inches onto the overall length of the, uh, the rifle. Um, as I mentioned, because this is using a, a, a full-length barrel, full-length reservoir, you don't give up anything in shot count. You get a fairly high shot count with this, this rifle. The rifle, like almost all air arms uh, that I, well, all air arms that I've shot, has a really nice trigger. It's a two-stage adjustable trigger. Uh, it can be lightened up. It's crisp. Uh, no, uh, no creep or over travel. Breaks like a glass rod. Um, I really do like the triggers in these these rifles uh, a lot. Um, it's ergonomic overall. The skeletonized stock, the uh, pistol grip, the swell of the fore stock, uh, the the. Um, the cheek piece, which is a soft material that covers, which, you know, it sounds like like something small, but in a lot of bullpups where you're laying your face right over a metal receiver, I, I don't really like the, the feel of that, especially when I'm out hunting in cold weather. So this is a, a nice soft touch cover uh, over the, uh, the cheek piece. And the last thing that uh, I, I really like about this is having an adjustable butt pad where I can really set this gun up to, uh, to shoot the way that I like. So I've talked enough about the rifle. To me, the proof is when you get out in the field, probably for you too, get out in the field and shoot it uh, in hunting conditions where I'm shooting from different conditions uh, in terms of the positions I'm shooting from, sitting, standing, um, you know, leaning against things, on sticks, off sticks, that, that type of, of diversity in shooting positions. And also 
um, where I have to deal with conditions, with wind, uh, elevation, uphill, downhill, shooting. Uh, and uh, so let's get out. I'm going to take this out on a prairie dog shoot uh, for, uh, for this video. Let's get it out there and see how it performs. I filled the Galahad up to 3,000 PSI, loaded up the 10-shot magazine, which is a proven air arm design used in the S410 and 510 rifle, and hit the field. The winds were raging, so I had to dial in the range a bit. Shooting off my knee from a sitting position, I was locked in for the 60-yard shot. The JSB Exact 18.3 grain pellet were accurate, bucked the wind, and provided great terminal performance. I stayed in one location for about a half hour and took several prairie dogs before moving on. With not much cover, I had to use what I could. This 22 is generating about 28 foot pound of energy, and it made a statement. I found a spot to shoot prone and reached out a bit further. Between the ergonomic design, Lothar Walther barrel, and two-stage adjustable trigger, this gun was a dead accurate hunting rig.